There were definitely bits of House of Magic that I liked, but as an episode as a whole, I don't think I loved it. This is the 16th episode of the third season of House of Mouse, and it starts off with Mickey realising that Jafar and Iago, the entertainment book for that particular um, evening, are actually lost. And there's a brilliant scene where we see them being lost, and I have to say, they used Iago and Jafar quite well in this episode, and I really liked their involvement. Not the biggest fan of those characters in particular, Aladdin's not one of my favourite Disneys, but the use of those characters was very effective, definitely credit where it's due. Um, but because they're late and they can't perform, Mickey kind of reluctantly lets Daisy do her magic act instead, and she's trying to do a trick where she makes her hat disappear, but she makes something much more important disappear. And I don't want to say any more than that, but what happens throughout the episode is Daisy trying to rectify it. And there's this wonderful bit with um, the magic mirror, which I loved, some really great dialogue there. Um, and then they go down into the prop store and we get to see various different props from various Disney films. Uh, and that's something that I always find engaging. I feel like they don't use the prop store enough because there are so many things they could do with that. And I'd say maybe twice a season we've been in there, give or take, which is not a lot. Um, so hopefully we'll use it more as I approach the, you know, the final episodes of this season. There's also a moment where Daisy is dressed as Maleficent. I may end up putting that as the thumbnail to this video because I loved it. I'm a very big fan of Maleficent and I just think she looked absolutely fantastic. Uh, obviously, the episode focuses on them trying to rectify this problem. Will they be able to do it? How is it going to happen? I hadn't predicted how it would resolve itself or what would happen with the thing that had disappeared. So it was, you know, it was unpredictable. And that's always a really fun thing because it's it's never quite clear where it's going to go. As always, we had a couple of cartoons in this one. Some of them made sense. Not really all of them. The first one is Presto Pluto, which I really enjoyed. I really liked this. And it's about magic, so it fit in very well. I will, of course, talk about all three of these in separate videos. Then we have Dan Donald's Dynamite Bowling, which is quite short, quite brief. And actually, I think my favourite Donald's Dynamite so far. I think this is the third one that I've seen. And then we have Babysitters, which is a Mickey Donald Goofy cartoon. And I don't know, I, I kind of liked part of it. I didn't love it completely, so I'm on the fence with how I felt about that one. Um, but that and Donald's Dynamite don't really fit into this episode very much. But that aside, it's not a terrible episode. There were certainly things in it that I liked, things that I thought well. But compared to recent episodes, um, before this we had Pluto vs Figaro, which was really good, and we had Salute to Sports, um, which I didn't love personally, but all of the cartoons made sense. It felt like a well-developed episode. And the same with Ask Von Drake. Everything was about Von Drake. It was the perfect package. House of Magic is a bit of a weak link, but it's certainly not terrible. 